Hello, it's me, and just in time for Halloween, I have a scary but beautiful puzzle to present slash uh, solve and show you my technique with it. This is the uh, the Ghost Cube, otherwise known as the Golden Cube, designed and made by Tony Fisher. But really what it is, is it's a Ghost Cube, in that it's a Cube, but it has the Ghost issue with being solved just off-center. So you can see that it moves here much like a Cube, but Unlike any other cube, you can't really turn any other layers. You have to line it up right at the fault line, and then you can make your other turns. So it, it lends a degree of challenge that's far beyond your usual cube, uh, just like any ghost puzzle. So the most challenging of modifications tend to be the ghost kind. I like this because it doesn't have any stickers at all. It's just this nice silvery sheen that's that's over here. Anyway, I'm going to compare it with the solve of the skew because really what this is, all this is, is it's a super skew, which means that, you know, these centers don't have any specific configurations, but these centers do. What are the centers, you ask? Well, that's kind of difficult to ascertain sometimes. So, one of the problems with the perspective here is every piece looks different, including the centers and the edges. Here, what a skew is, is they're made up of, of course, um, corners rather, and also centers. It rotates about the axis of a corner, dragging the other corners and centers with it. But every corner can act as a center axis of, of, a, of a turn of its own. The centers, however, can't. You can't turn about the centers. So the only way to distinguish this is as I turn this, this over here I can tell is a corner, this is a center over here, this over here is a corner. The way that you can tell is you can see it's got its own axis of rotation over there. But here, although you can tell the difference between corners and uh, centers, here you can't. So that lends even more of a of a challenge to it. But the solve is the same, you just have to get your perspective. The other problem is that if I were to, to identify a side here, well, here's a side, but um, when it's scrambled, if I'm gonna say that this is a center, the corners that surround it, there's gonna be one corner that doesn't line up. So it has to kinda be like a borrowed corner. So it's among the more challenging, but let's go ahead and go through the uh, scramble of this. Now these are very difficult to obtain puzzles and are marvelously overpriced. So if you should see them in an auction or something like that, be prepared if you want it in your collection to pay a lot more money than you otherwise would want to spend on it. It used to be mass produced, now it isn't anymore. So they tend to be really for those die-hard collectors that want it in your collection. However, if you do manage to get a hold of this puzzle and you want a challenge, it is, I would say, well worth it if that's what you want. Otherwise, it's a super scube. So here it is scrambled. I'm trying to enhance the level of scramble over here. And uh, what you find is that every piece, every component has its own shape. So even when it's scrambled, it has this beautiful look to it. It looks like a chunk of gold that you might find buried somewhere. Um, but in any case, looking at this, it's hard to believe that this in a, in a solved state is actually gonna be a cube. That's what I like about the scrambled state is if it looks either like there's a whole bunch of colors mixed together or if the shape just looks completely unrecognizable of what it's going to look like when it's solved. And I hope that the light isn't bouncing off this too much. So the first step is we have to delineate what are my corners and what are my centers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison with the solve with this because perspective is oftentimes an issue. So I'm going to demonstrate using this so that I can, you know, better, maybe better illustrate what the heck I'm doing. Okay. So you can see a very different type of scramble with, with these two. Here you can easily tell what the centers are. Here, uh, not so much. Is this a center? Is this a corner? Well, the way that you can tell is if it becomes an axis of rotation. So I can see that this is uh, a corner. And uh, this is a corner. So that's what's going to tell me which, which is which. So the first step is I solve a face by putting the corners all around it. So if I were to start with the green side over here, basically I'm moving this in, this is in over here. I don't worry about these centers, I'm just worrying about a center, corner, 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 corner. So where's the other green and silver? Other green and silver is right over here. So I'm just gonna blast this into place here. without destroying what I just did. Anyway, so 
somehow I, I move something out. So I'll just keep turning this in until this is in. Okay, take two. So where's the other green and silver? It's, it's over here. So this has to come into here. You can see it's not quite right. Take it out. And it's easy to visualize what you're doing here. I'm turning it into place, moving it in. Um, this green happens to be in this. In order to move it in, you move it out, then rotate it, move it in, move this back. So this is like the RIDI already. Okay, so what I have here is I have the first side with this and corner, 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 corner. This was much too easily placed, but in any case, that's what I'm gonna do over here. So I'm gonna find a center and uh, you can see with this triangle here, this is in, and I've already got a corner over, uh, rather this is a corner and I've got this on the center over here. So I can use this center, now that I've got one corner in, and just match the others. But one of the corners isn't gonna fit flush because it's gonna be at that axis of rotation where it's sliced in between and sawed off center. So which one goes where? I have no way of knowing based on shape or based on, um, or based on color, so I just have to experiment. Is it this one? No, this kind of finds a nice home over here. Move this in. Well, this one obviously belongs because, you know, it's it's got the writing here. So that is in, in a way, kind of a way to cheat, I guess, with this. Turn it in, move it in. So this is in, this is in. Now I want to put another corner into here. Well, which one? And is this one that can't move in anyway? In other words, it can't fit flush anyway. So, see what works here. Now I can move this and say, well, maybe it's this one, but I just have to turn it. So I'm gonna do my equivalent to RIDARD. Take this, move it away. Rotate it around. Move this in, rotate it back. And just kind of keep doing that until it becomes apparent that that's not the right one. How about this one? Well, rotate it out. So in this puzzle, I do a lot of trial and error. Mostly error, but a little trial. Turn, move it in, turn it back. One more time, just for good measure. This puzzle loves to turn. And no, so not yet. Well, how about this guy, little triangle here. Turn, bring it down, not yet. So that's kind of what I'm doing. and turn, so nothing yet. And I think I'm back where I started, so I don't think any of these will actually fit. So maybe I should focus on this side here. Anything that seems like it might, this one might. So move it out, turn it in, move it back, move it in, move it back, turn it in. And nothing doing over here. So we move on. How about this guy? Move it out. Turn, turn, turn. So not having much luck with this. Try one more. Turn, turn, and turn. All right, let's try this triangle here maybe. Turn, 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 turn. Now a lot of other ones are coming in. Makes me sort of wanna forget what I'm doing and move on to something else maybe. Turn and turn. So nothing is coming into here, which leads me to believe that it's maybe one of these over here. So let's see what happens if I turn this one in. Turn, turn, down, back, not yet. Turn, turn, down. Now there's something that I noticed is this one moved into here. So just by kind of positioning things around, I see that this is a center, corner, corner, corner. So this one just happened to come in, but if it was down over here and I wasn't sure, you know, you can turn it, move it in, and it's just a matter of finding the, the right position. A little bit of a catch here. That doesn't want to move out of this. Swing it the other way then. Turn, 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 and turn. Okay. So we have these. Now the next corner could be a little bit of a problem because I know that the next corner is where it's 
sliced through. So it's going to be sawed off center. That's why I wasn't able to find it. So which one is it? Well, it's not going to be lined up right here. It's going to be lined up here or here. So is there anything that fulfills that criteria? I look at this and I see that this here may have a nice home over here. And actually, as I think of it, this triangle here doesn't quite line up completely. It looks like it does, but it actually doesn't line up completely. So I'm going to take this out, rotate it, move it back, and this is much better. This is more flush. Part of the joys of the ghost concept. So I'm going to move around and see if there's anything that just kind of finds its way in place. And it's going to be a corner. Can't see anything here as of yet. So let's start doing the same technique, turning things out, moving it in, and turning back. So what about this piece? Does this piece find a home here somewhere? And no. This is actually a center, because I can't, it, I don't use it as an axis of rotation. How about this? Let's try turning this one around. Move it out of the way, rotate it around, move it back, bring this back. Does this find any home off center? Not the, the way it is. So move it out of the way, orbit it, turn it back, bring this back. How about like this? Well, yeah, over here. So I'm going to say that this is a corner, which could be like a surrogate corner to over here. So this belongs here, which means I'm going to lock this into place here. You can tell this can be an axis of rotation, so it's a corner. So I'm going to say that I'm going to orient this puzzle where this corner, which eventually is going to be solved over here off center, I'm going to call it part of the corner of this face. So this is equivalent to this, and that's really what we've got. Um, this one accidentally fell into place, but it was really just a matter of moving it up, turning, around, turning it around, and seeing how it fit. The whole key is to play with it until you find the three that fit flush and the one that doesn't fit flush but has a home somewhere else. So now the next step that we do is we make sure that we put this face on the bottom. So too, here, this ends up on the bottom over here. The next step is to see where these centers go by doing the down, down, up, up. Here it's easy to see that this belongs here. And my technique for the skew is to take this and to flip it down here. Down, down, up, up. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put the one that goes opposite, in this case it's here, which is already in. Once that's done, these are then placed. This is already in and this is already in, so that's really no problem. So with this, this was a little too easy to actually act as something that can demonstrate, but now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the, a center that goes where it's supposed to be in conjunction with the face down here. That's going to be oriented by these corners. So these corners are going to tell me which center is supposed to go here. Is it this center? Well, I've got a center up here. Can this be moved down anywhere? Well, that depends. Can this be moved down here? Because my down, down, up, up is going to be these centers here. So that's going to be my down, down, up, up. Does this fit flush with any of these pieces? Move this down here and no. Does it fit flush with any of these pieces? Bring it down. Well, it's not going to fit flush with here because it's going to be solved off center. So does it fit flush with this? With this guy over here. So I'm going to move this down and you can see that it doesn't. All right, does it fit flush with this piece over here? So move it in and no. How about here and no. Last chance, does it fit flush with any of these pieces? Here, no, and here, no. So what this tells me is that this actually belongs up here. If this belongs up here, none of these do. So I'm going to arbitrarily take one and move it up here to see if it belongs down to any of these places. So remember, this is a center, this is a center, this is a center. But this doesn't belong here. It doesn't fit flush with this. So I'm just going to do a down, down, up, up to move this up. So we have down, down, up, up. By doing that, I'm not going to change anything here. But now does this go somewhere else? Well, this didn't go here, so I'm going to see about this. Now, here's what's interesting. This corner is a surrogate corner to this face. You can see this center fits, which means that this center is where it's supposed to be.
Now that I know that this center is where it's supposed to be, my next step is to put the one right behind it, which is over, um, which is over here, I think. Yeah, so in terms of perspective, this is a center. Actually, it's over here, so this center. Could it be this one? Well, let's move it down. We see that that's not it. Could we move down here? And aha, that's it. So this center belongs here. So I'm well on my way. I'm going to move this down. This center will stay exactly where it is. So let's move this one down by going down, down, up, up. Okay, so what I have is these centers are correct. This one and this one. Whoops. And you can see that this one is going to be solved off center. So I move it here and you can see how this is going to start coming in. Okay, so what other centers are in? Well, this is in, this is in, this one fits flush, so this is in. Which means that this center must be correct as well. So what we have is we actually have a situation where all the centers appear to be in, except this one looks out. Now, I don't know if it's rotated or not supposed to be, but in any case, I know that um, these must be in because if they're not, then I have one center pair that has to be flipped, and you can't have that in um, in a skew. The only time I found that in the skew is when I had the dino skews and things like that. So once again, here's the center on the bottom. This center is in. This center is in, and uh, this center is in, which means these must have to flip. Uh, which means actually these two centers are in as well, but this has to be flipped. So I'm going to go down, down, up, up. That's going to flip these two. So when I go down, down, up, up, this is going to move up, and these two are going to be swapped. Then I'm going to put it in again. This will be right side up. These will swap back, but both of these will be upside down. So this is all, again, super skew solve. So down, down, up, up with this. Down, down, up. up. Now my prediction when I do it again, this center will come down to here and be completely in the right position. Down, see? Down, up, up. Now believe it or not, this was actually a very simple configuration. There wasn't too much uh, hidden behind that. But as predicted, this is correct. The one behind it should also be correct, which is right over here. But these two, although they're correct, they're not oriented right. But that's okay, because now I'm going to go down, down, up, up um, two times, which will bring this up and down and then correctly configure it. These two will be out of configuration, but that's okay, because then I'm going to do the same thing with this one, which will go down, down, up, up, correctly configure that, that which will put these right. So, basically, here's what that means. Do this four times. Down, down, up. Up, down, down, up, up. So this is fine. It moved these two centers out, but I'm going to turn this around here and I'll do the same thing with this center. Putting this one in will also put these in. These are in the right place, but they've got to be rotated. So doing this four times will rearrange this and rearrange these two. All right, without getting confused about position, we go down, down, up, up, that's one, down, down, up, up, that's two. So now all of our centers are right, and you can see we look a lot more box-shaped and a lot more symmetric. As a matter of fact, if I move this in, you can see that we're starting to get everything that we need. So now all the centers are correct. What we have left are the edges. So center is good, this is good, this is good, and this is good. This is also good, but these, these corners are not correct. They have to be rotated. Now this is where the perspective can really become an issue. Without losing my place, I'm gonna show it over here. So with this, they're all in the right place, but they're rotated wrong. What has to happen is this is actually exactly the same configuration. All these are rotated wrong. This has to rotate clockwise. This has to rotate clockwise. So what has to happen is that I'm gonna do a down, down, up, up twice. That'll move this down and up. I'm going to do it in the opposite direction to rotate this, I'm sorry, counterclockwise, not clockwise, counterclockwise and uh, counterclockwise. I'm going to move this clockwise just the opposite twice. So we have down, down, up, 
up, that's one, and down, down, up, up, and then it's solved. Now the problem here is, well, where is it supposed to turn? Clockwise? Counterclockwise? I don't know. It's kind of difficult to tell. I look at this and, you know, I can see maybe this is the point of the triangle here, so maybe this should turn clockwise. In which case, maybe this should turn clockwise, or maybe you have to hold it like this and coordinate these two together. So here's the thing. It doesn't really matter. If I down, down, up, up it enough times, it's gonna end up solved. So in a super skew, because I have to, I can't just do it twice, down, down, up, up. Uh, I have to do it four times. The reason being is that when I bring it down and up again, it's gonna be rotated. So I have to do it four times to get these right. So instead of going in the same direction, in the opposite direction of where these have to turn, I have to go in the same direction and just do it more times. So which one is it? Well, if I hold it here and decide that maybe this one has to turn, I'm just gonna go down, down, up, up four times. That will bring this back and I'll see where the corners are. Clockwise, counterclockwise, well, I'll make an educated guess. This appears to have to go clockwise. So I'm gonna say this has to go clockwise. So I'm gonna do my down, down, up, up because it's a super skew clockwise as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it over here and go four times clockwise. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, that's two, and do it again. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Okay, that was four, and as you can see, it didn't do the trick. But all these are still out of sync, which means I'm in the right configuration. You know, uh, if, if I had two that were at the wrong site that were out of sync, then two would be in and two would be out. So I'm gonna to continue to do the same thing, but I'm now gonna do it, um, well, I'm just gonna do it again, four times. So that's gonna be in a clockwise rotation, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, that's two, let's do it again, down, down, up, up, and even if this is right, it has, you have no way of knowing if we're about to solve it or not, it still looks jumbled, that's what makes it so scary. Two more and this should work, down, down, up, up, and look at that. Everything is fine. I now move this into position, and it's solved. Done. Solved just like a skew. Well, just like a super skew. The whole issue with this, the whole problem with this is, of course, the fact that it's a ghost skew. This was designed to not so much educate, but to scare you about it. So if you get your hands on this, try it. If you have your hands on something like this and it didn't quite make sense and you'd like me to slow down, let me know. Otherwise, to those who celebrate, happy Halloween. Thanks for watching.